HTML stands for the Hypertext Markup Language. Many of you may have some previous experience with HTML, but that's not necessary. HTML as we know it was invented by Tim Berners-Lee, a British computer scientist working in Switzerland around 1990. For our purposes, HTML just tells a web browser how to display a web page. In fact, HTML is not all that different from using symbols like stars or underscores to emphasize text that you're writing to someone else. In HTML, this emphasized plain text becomes I, and then this special punctuation that means, let's do some bold now. Really, this special punctuation that means I'm done with bold, let's go back to normal. And then like you, the B stands for bold. Let's go see how that pans out. Here in this uh, particular window, I'm showing the raw HTML source on the left and how it might look in a web browser on the right. Here when I've added the bold tags around really, we see I really like you, the really is rendered in bold. Other common approaches in HTML for emphasis are the use of underlines, the U, and italics, I. And each one of these is called a tag, this special syntax with the B in angle brackets, the B sort of in similar angle brackets, the U, the closing U, the I, the closing I, is a tag that's associated with that word or that span of text and tells the web browser how to render it. And this part here, the left angle bracket and the right angle bracket, that's a starting tag. And this other part, the left angle bracket followed by a slash, the slash is super important, begin and end tag. Ooh. It's a little complicated to say. Mark the start of an ending tag, tell you that the current tag is about to stop. So here's a beginning bold tag, here's an ending bold tag. And you can see that play out on the right, only the word really is bolded. 